claims that former President Donald Trump and the GOP pose a grave threat to democracy have become a key Democrat talking point ahead of the 2024 elections. But several prominent Republicans and experts say it is really President Biden's party that is working overtime to undermine the vote. To make their case, they point to Democrats' efforts to keep Trump off the ballot, imprison him, stifle free speech on social media, and rewrite election laws while fighting measures designed to protect ballot integrity. Those ongoing efforts, they say, are a much bigger threat to democracy than the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot Biden and Democrats frequently cite. Republican National Committee RNC Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel said that Democrats cynically used the COVID-19 pandemic to radically undermine long-standing election laws on the fly and then started pushing for non-citizens to vote in U.S. elections. Legal expert Jonathan Turley agreed, calling the Colorado court's ruling the most anti-democratic opinion in decades and arguing that Democrats' claims about protecting democracy would be more compelling if they were not supporting the effort to block voters from being able to vote for Trump and cancelling primaries in states like Florida. Prior to shifting to running as an independent, Kennedy also faced the wrath of his fellow Democrats at a July House hearing on the weaponization of the federal government intended to address censorship. Former Senator Kelly Loeffler, a strong advocate for ballot reform and voter turnout since leaving the Senate in 2021, said that Democrats call Republicans election deniers and attempt to silence them whenever they object to their anti-democratic actions.